Our own Jack Otter hosted the Barron's Advisor Women's Summit in sunny Palm Beach, Florida this past week, where we heard from the best minds in the wealth management industry. He spoke one-on-one -on -one with Newberger Berman's senior wealth advisor and Barron's Hall of Famer, Holly Newman Croft. Watch. Holly, thanks so much for joining us here in sunny Palm Beach. Jack, thanks for having us. So I want to get your 2024 outlook, but of course we should step back slightly. We had a decade of free money, then interest rates shot up, clobbered both stocks and bonds. So where do we go from here? Yeah, I mean, 2022, everyone sort of worried about what else could go wrong. <laughs> 2023, the market really surprised on the upside. November snapping a three-month negative streak in the market. Um, and barring anything unforeseen, we're going to continue this rally through the end of the year. I think what's really important to remember, though, is that this rally is so, so concentrated. 80% of the market returns are coming from 10 stocks. So I think as we look out to 2024, there's a lot of value to be found in every asset class. And what's really important is fundamental analysis, active management to identify those companies that have been really just looked over for those 10 magnificent 10, I guess, if I can coin a new term today. So I want to ask you about how you want to play it, some more specific investment questions. But first, what are the economic forces that you see in 2024 that will drive some of these changes? Yeah, like all year, we're keeping a really close eye on inflation and we're keeping a really close eye on unemployment. Um, it's been great to see inflation come down this year. I think it's come down much slower than everyone would have originally anticipated. And we're still quite a ways from the Fed's 2% target. Um, but our market this year has certainly been driven by the consumer. The U.S. is a service-based economy. The consumer, consumer has been driving this market. Um, but with rates higher for longer, we're all, already seeing that those impacts on the consumer. But as inflation continues to come down and every month that unemployment stays low, it increases the likelihood of a soft landing. Wow, the magical soft landing. Yeah, I mean, that's the big question, I think, is are we going to hit a recession? Is there going to be a soft landing? And I will tell you, I don't think it really matters. I do think the economy is going to slow. Whether we manage a soft landing, which we've never managed in such a tightening cycle before, doesn't mean it's impossible, probably unlikely, but more likely every month that inflation comes down. Um, but the, the economy will slow, growth will slow, and we will feel those impacts in the market. Okay, so you probably want to uh, rebalance out of those magnificent 10. They're a little pricey. They've had a lot of momentum. So what do you rebalance into? What looks attractive under this scenario? Well, two things. One, you want to make sure for taxable investors that you're doing it in a tax efficient way. So at NB Private Wealth, you, we use the CDI strategy, a tax efficient strategy for managing equity portfolios. What does CDI mean? Custom direct indexing. Okay. So you want to do it in a tax efficient way. And again, you want to find companies that have strong pricing power, that haven't had the huge run up in growth, that aren't highly leveraged and won't be punished by the higher interest rates today. And we don't believe that's sub asset that class specific. We think you can find those companies in U.S. large cap, in small and mid cap, in developed uh, international. But we do favor large cap and developed international over emerging market and small and mid cap as we enter 2024. Got it. So on the bond side of the portfolio, obviously really rough year as, as interest rates shot up in 2022. This year has been okay for bonds. Um, where are you? Do you stay short? Do you go on the long end thinking that rates might come down a little bit? Well, I do think rates will come down. I don't know when rates will come down, but I think a year from now, rates will be lower than they are today. So we're starting to extend duration on our portfolios because in a muni bond portfolio, you can get a taxable equivalent yield of 6%. When you compare that to the long, the long term returns of the market of seven to 8%, that's a really nice place to sit tight, capture those returns and wait for some of the uncertainty and the volatility that we for sure will experience in 2024. And it's not just inflation and unemployment, it's geopolitical risks. It's also we're entering an election year. An election year, as you know, it's always a volatile year in the best of circumstances. And some people might argue these are not the best of circumstances as we enter this one. Yes, it will be interesting, as the Chinese <laughs> say. Uh, let's pivot uh, before you go to what you're you're hearing outside this room, uh, you were in a big ballroom with about $800 billion under management, 700 women. Uh, what's the vibe? 
This is the best conference Jack and I get invited <laughs> You're just to a that. lot. I'm not. I come to a lot of Barron's conferences too, but this is a room full of highly accomplished women, and you set the stage for such a think tank for women to share ideas and your speakers to share best practices. We come away with you know updates on investments, philanthropy best practices, and it just reinforces what a privilege it is to work in this industry and what an honor it is to be included in this Barron's Top Women's Conference. Always a great time to be here. Holly Newman-Croft, thanks so much for doing this. Thanks, Jack.